So here it is. What are the five basic elements to provide effective treatment uh, every single time? Um, as I said, I, I put this all together because uh, there were times I was doing a treatment and I, I thought I was on the right track or I was thinking, oh wow, I'm going to get a very similar result uh, with this person as I did with the last person because they had the, the same condition. And all of a sudden things would fall through and I'm thinking, you know, what, what have I done wrong? Um, and uh, this allowed me to continue to uh, better my skills because I was always thinking, well, what have I done last time? Why didn't it work? And what else can I do next time? So that was my thought process and uh, that's what I kept on doing. So uh, to, to begin with, what I'd like to say is what, uh, what is effective treatment? Effective treatment is you getting the best results in the shortest period of time. With any person you're seeing, whether it's uh, an elite athlete, uh, whether it's uh, someone who is just playing sport over the weekends, to your 85 year old grandma who is now finding it difficult to walk. Um, the best results in the shortest period of time is what everyone is after. And uh, that is ultimately what effective treatment is. Now, um, with this, now this is the wow factor. What I'd like to explain about the wow factor is, I'd like to say that if you can get the best results in the shortest period of time, and you go the extra mile, then you're going to get the wow factor. Uh, this is a new definition of, of treatment. This is a new definition of um, how I work. And what I'd like to say is every time I mentor someone or uh, most of my students, I say to them, well, what can you do to go the extra mile? Uh, it's very interesting because um, when you have been treating elite athletes for as long as I have, uh, you don't have time on your side. You only have a short period of time because most of these athletes want to be competing at the highest level. They have to be competing at the next um, next uh, Olymp uh, at the next Olympics or the Commonwealth Games or uh, the next big tournament, and you only have a short period of time to get them ready. Uh, you don't have time on your side. Plus, when you're when you've been treating uh, elite athletes, what you need to do is give them the best possible result because if you're not giving them the best possible best possible result um, that could be a personal best that they won't achieve it could mean that they don't win the next gold medal or they lose a medal um, it could be a multi-million dollar contract because they are just below their personal best or they are not good enough to uh, break through to the next level therefore they've missed out so, what I'd like to say, give people the best results in the shortest period of time and learn how to go the extra mile. And we'll talk a little bit more about going the extra mile down the track. But in this lecture, um, I'll be covering uh, uh, some of the five elements that could help you going the extra mile. Um, in Australia, the Australian Physiotherapy Council, um, the APC, have marked four things that are vital to be a physiotherapist in Australia. They are that you need to be safe, uh, you need to be able to provide effective treatment, not just any old treatment, it has to be effective. Uh, you need to be able to provide exercises to that person. and. The final thing is quite important because if you've been safe and you've been able to give effective treatment, you've also provided them with exercises, but the person says, uh, I don't feel like going back to this person. You know, I didn't really feel that we connected. I didn't really feel that the person built up rapport. That is a major thing that needs to be seen by the Australian Physiotherapy Council to to be a physio in Australia. Now it's very, I mean these are the basics and if you do the basics well enough 
you will ultimately do well regardless whether you're a physio in Australia or whether you're a physio from overseas trying to work in Australia. But as I said, this is what the, this is what the Australian Physiotherapy Council looks at and they obviously have other criteria under each of these things, but these are the major things it looks at. So I just wanted to bring this up because it's a very good thing to look back on and it's a very good thing to see whether what you're doing is right. I mean, there, I know a lot of physios, a lot of talented physios who do the top three. But when it comes to the third one, or sorry, when, they, when it comes to the fourth one, hmm, it's a little bit iffy. So they, they tend to fall short.